Good morning. I wanted to just say a few words about cats and essential oils. It seems like another obvious topic that um, just never occurred to me until this week. So I've been thinking about it and chewing on it a little, and I just thought I would share my approach to this topic um, as a parfumer. So um, I've had my cats for 12 and a half years now, and they I have raised them to smell foods I'm eating and to be engaged in what I'm doing. If I'm working with flowers or dried botanicals, I'll have them smell the ingredients. They want to, they want to be engaged. Come on up, Wynn. They want to know what I'm doing. I think Winifred's gonna come up right now and visit with us. But um, I, I'm also, and I've always been aware that I need to protect them from essential oils. Um, some animals like dogs and horses love and respond well to essential oils, but cats do not. Physically, they cannot metabolize essential oils. And so, um, um, I've always done what I could to avoid my cat's contact with essential oils. And that includes um, the perfume that I might have on my wrist while I'm testing new perfumes or blending. So I'm always considering that. Um, I use my wrists when I'm testing and creating, but I do try to keep my perfume in my hair or on my neck because my cats, um, they are very affectionate with me and they like to be where I am. We're very tactile with each other. They require a lot of cuddling. And so um, this way I can keep them safe by limiting my perfume to places that they won't touch necessarily. Um, just trying to avoid getting essential oils on their fur is the goal. And um, let's see what else. Um, so sometimes the air gets really dry here in California, um, especially during fire season, which can be really rough. And I do diffuse, um, I run a diffuser to help my, my poor sinuses. Fire season's always really rough on my sinuses. But um, my diffuser is water. It's two cups of water. And occasionally I'll put like two drops of frankincense oil in it, but it's that's very minimal in two whole cups of water that, that we use to, to diffuse in the room. Um, I would never diffuse essential oil in a, you know, in a room diffuser because that's a waste of essential oil, which is very precious and which is meant to be used very minimally and very intentionally. There's just no reason to use your oils like that. And that's just not s sustainable, um, but it's also, it's not good for your animals. Um, and I would say the same goes for those chemical synthetic plugins. That's that's really a lot for your cat's sensitive noses to take in. And so I avoid any kind of harsh fragrances like that. Um, and as far as cat litter, speaking of harsh fragrances, um, I never use that artificially scented litter because I always imagined that it must be very rough for my cats to um, have to deal with. And I was really happy. Um, I started watching Jackson Galaxy videos um, in this past year, and I really love the channel and I love the community. But I was so happy to see him addressing this topic because it's something that was on my mind like the whole 12 years. I was raising my animals, my kittens. Two of them were kittens, and one was two when I adopted them all at the same time. And so I always tried to protect them from harsh smells like that. I don't use any harsh smelling uh, cleaning products in my house either. So um, it's gentle for the most part. Um, diffusing is gentle and then the perfumery. I always try to keep my windows open and a fan running, even if it's cold, even during the winter, to respect my cat's sense of smell too while I'm making incense or making perfume. So I just try to be mindful because um, I just, I'm aware that their sense of smell is more sensitive than mine. And so I don't want to bombard them or risk their health in any way. And I just thought I'd mention these considerations in case they didn't occur to you. 
there's a lot of misinformation out there about essential oils and I'm I've been studying essential oils and working with essential oils and with plants for like 20 years I still don't presume to know everything and so I ex exercise um, a lot of respect and a lot of caution for the perma medium um, in that way like I don't use essential oils for medical healing I just I do have some training, but I just feel like it's beyond my scope, and I choose to leave that to the professionals, and um, I certainly would never try any kind of essential oil healing on my animals, because I know that cats can't metabolize essential oils. So um, I leave my essential oils for perfumery these days, and I'm very careful, and that said, there, there aren't many oils I use in my own cooking either. I just don't think it's necessary because again, oils are so precious um, and should be used very selectively. I don't think there's any reason to sprinkle them throughout your household in different ways. Um, so um, I think your cats will thank you for, for that too. And um, 